Okay, everybody. So um, in the next episode of our street prop uh, series, we're going to do a so-called Morris column. Now, uh, if you don't know what it is, it's something that you typically see in France. Uh, if you get these really typical French scenes, maybe like in a Disney Pixar movie, you'll see this pop up once uh, every now and then, right? So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to make this uh, a little bit elaborate because it's uh, kind of a simple thing to model, uh, but we're going to make it look nice, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to start with some uh, decoration. And for that, let's see, what we'll do is we'll take a Taurus. Let's uh, control A to open up the attribute editor. Let's go in here and let's set that subdivision level to, I would say 10 by 10, that would be okay, right? Then we're going to slice that in half. So we're going to go in here, we're going to right click at a face, get half of that, and just hit delete. And then let's go in here and let's just copy this upward, right? So control D to duplicate, W to move up to about here. And we are going to hit R to scale it back a little bit, maybe like so. And then we'll go in, object mode, select both. Go to mesh and uh, combine. We'll right click, go to face, select one, select two, and delete those two faces. And then we're going to go into edge, double click, and shift, double click. And we're going to go to edit mesh and bridge, option box, linear path, one, and hit bridge. That looks uh, quite funky. Probably because my edge is flowing all the way around. Yeah, I thought something like that was going on. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Let's try that again. Edit mesh and bridge. There you go, right? So we're gonna hit 500 keyboard. That's what we have as, as our starting point. So we've got one of those, and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna right click and go to object mode. Control D to duplicate, W to move over, like so. E to rotate and then hold on J and flip it around. And then we're gonna W and we're gonna push that in like this. All right, now that we have these two, drag select, control D to duplicate, W to move, and you wanna get that spacing right. So let's go in here and let's have a look. Uh, I would say that's pretty close. So now that we have that, we're gonna hit Shift D whole bunch of times for the simple reason that this is going to be a decorative uh, decorative uh, line around the base, right? So we're gonna select all of that. We're gonna go to mesh and combine. And as before, this is a concept piece for a street prop. So this is quite high poly. Normally, if you would use this as an actual street prop, what you would do is take your high poly model and bake that onto the low poly. This is just so you can see what the high poly would look like, right? Okay, so now that we have that, we need to wrap this around. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to uh, edit, delete by type and history. And then we're gonna go to uh, modify and center pivot. I'm gonna hit W, hold on X and snap that to the center of our grid, right? Okay. Then we're going to go up to deform, we're going to go to nonlinear, we're going to go to bend. We're going to move that bend deformer or rotate it to be exact. So hit E, hold down J, flip it down like so. And then we're going to go to our bend tab here and let's see how its uh, orientation is set up. And you can see it's set up correctly. So we're going to wrap it around like so. And then we're going to look at the other end to see if that spacing is OK. And uh, I think it is. It should be because it's 180 degrees. So I think that looks OK. Just to be sure, let's try 181, 180.3. Yeah, I think that looks fine. Right, so we got that, right? And we're gonna go in here, we're gonna select this guy. We're gonna go to edit, delete by type and history. And as a result, we can now use this freely, right? So we're gonna go to modify and center pivot. We're gonna hit E to rotate this guy, hold down J and flip it flat like so. And then we're gonna hit W to move that up. 
and as we do so we're gonna hold down X to snap that right okay so that's a piece of decoration for the base there and then we're gonna start modeling the actual base for that what we'll do is we'll take a polygon cylinder we need that to fit of course so we're gonna hit R to scale and we just want that to touch that okay now this thing should be perfectly round, but maybe it's not perfectly centered. So let's go to modify and center pivot. And let's have a look. After frame. And I know for a fact that my cylinder is round, so not 100% sure why that's the case, but that's easily fixed. We'll hit W, we'll move that up. And I think that's all right. Okay, so we can see the decoration everywhere. That's perfect. So we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that down. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna set caps to zero. And we don't need those. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna go to face, click and delete, click delete, there you go. And then we got this decoration going on here. We want that to be raised slightly. So double click on this, hit W, pull that up just a tiny bit do the same down here just a tiny bit and there you go All right so we have that decoration going on there let's uh, work our way down so we're gonna click on this control E to uh, extrude hard to scale pull that out and then hit W and push it down slightly G to repeat W to move down like so G to repeat to scale in G to repeat W push down and then G to repeat again or to scale out again and W to move down a little bit G to repeat once more W to move down and I would say that's a good point for our base right now I want this to be a smooth of course so I'm going to go in here to mesh and uh, smooth, which will give us this look right here. Okay, cool. So now that we have that, let's focus on the top here. Let's get in here and actually I want to go up one level. Like I said, this is not a low poly model, so don't worry about it, right? We're going to go in here. I'm going to go into edge, double click on the top there, and I'm going to add a little bit more decoration. So uh, control E to extrude or to pull in. G to repeat that, W to push up, G to repeat, R to scale out. And for that, we need to be pretty precise. So I hit F to frame that. Let's see where we're at. That should be about right. Okay. We're going to hit a G to repeat again, and W to push up again. So I would say about there. And then a G to repeat again, R to scale in. And W to push up like so. G to repeat one more time. R to make a flat uh, extrusion inwards. G to repeat, W to push up. And then finally, G to repeat and R to scale in. All right? There you go. So that's going to be our base here. So we're going to select this. So we're going to shift like this. We're going to go to mesh and combine. And there you have it. Right, so now we need to focus on the vertical piece, which is quite simple. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a polygon cylinder, we're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that out. Again, we don't need the, um, the uh, faces on top and on the bottom, so the caps set to zero. Let's go in here, get the face, get rid of it, get rid of that one. And we're gonna put this one in place here. We need to scale it up first like this hit W to raise that up like so and there we go and I want 16 subdivisions on this and I should have done that first because now it's creating new caps here there we go and we are gonna smooth that no worries but first let's focus on the height okay so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go to vertex and I'm gonna drag select the top vertices jump to this view right here 
pull that up to I would say about there and I am going to go in and hit R and very 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 slightly scale it in not much just a little bit and maybe bring it down a bit I think the overall height is a bit much maybe like that right okay so what I want to do here is I want to uh, extrude a number of edges here and I think the best way to do that is to just go in here take one here take one on the opposite side and then take one actually let's just follow our grid lines it's much easier we'll take one there take one there take one there and then finally take one there and there you go and we're going to go to edit mesh and bevel now i want that fraction to be 0 0.15 maybe maybe 0 0.1 0 0.1 is fine okay and then from there i'm going to go in here to face select one two not that one three and four and we're going to hit control e to extrude let's do 0 0.2 that should be more than enough right okay and then we're going to go in and we're going to go to mesh and smooth and let's see what that looks like and that's very nice now i do probably need to add an edge on the top there so i'm going to hit uh, control z to go back so I'm going to go in here to insert edge loop option box and let's see we'll do uh, equal yeah that's good I'm going to go in here and I'm going to push one up here and I think I'm going to leave it a little bit from the top there or not let's see let's see let's see yeah I can push it all the way up so there we go, and then we'll do one down here as well. Hit 4 for wireframe mode. We're gonna push that in like this. Okay, Q on the keyboard, right click at object mode, mesh and smooth. So now if I hit five, it will look a lot cleaner, as you can see. All right, cool. So we got that piece, then the next one is to um, work on a bit of a wider section on top here that has some lettering on that so for that we'll take a uh, polygon cylinder we'll hit W we'll move that up like so we'll hit R to scale that out we don't need that height of course so it's gonna be something let's say around something like so maybe for now we're gonna get rid of those caps and then we're going to go in here we're going to right click at a face as before click and click to get rid of that so that's what we're going to focus on for now and let's bring this down a bit and i'm just going to have a look at the overall proportions to see whether i like the height and whatnot i'm going to hit r push that up let's say to about there and then hit four so i can see the height there let's hit W bring it up like so so I'm okay with that let's see maybe bring it in a little bit so hit R like that right now keep in mind that a Morse column is quite decorative so we need to add some decoration here so let's do that so first I'm gonna go in here to injured edge loop again and uh, actually let's go into insert edge loop option box so let's set it to multiple and two so we can work in a very symmetrical way so we'll put two in we'll hit r to uh, push them up to the top almost all the way like so and then uh, let's see we'll do uh, insert edge loop again and we'll put two more in here and we'll take those and we'll hit R and push them up like this. All right? Hit Q on the keyboard. There you go. So then we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to go in to face. So click and shift, double click, click and shift, double click. They're the same for the two bottom rows. 
And then we're going to control E to extrude. And let's do 0 0.2 on the thickness, maybe a bit more, 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is better, I would say. And then we're just going to focus on the top row and on the bottom row. All right? We're going to hit the G to repeat. And let's try 0 0.4 on that. So we get that little decorative edge there, which is kind of what we want. Now, um, you can add text here if you want, and we can do that. And I'll actually, I think I'll do that just to show you how you do that. And then you can decide what kind of decoration you want on here, right? But for now, what we can do next is we're gonna go in here, we're gonna right click at the edge on this guy only. Double click and shift, double click, there you go. We're gonna control E to extrude. We're gonna hit R to pull in. And as we do so, because we're scaling instead of offsetting, you see how that slopes inward, right? So we're going to G to repeat. We're going to hit R to scale in. But this time we're going to also level it like so. And for that, I need to check that. Like this. There you go. And then we're going to pull that in a little bit further. Just to close up the bottom gap there. Okay guys, well it's time for a little sponsor break here. And with that, I can make any of these videos for you guys. So show them some love, right? And you actually might love this one. So if you need 3D models for a lifelike visualization that you're working on, you might want to check out Render People. They offer 3D posed, 3D rigged, and even 3D animated people models, right? And they have over 3,000 products right now. They cover uh, models suitable for business, shopping, sports, swimwear, evening wear, outdoor, and even specialty models like doctors, workers, and whatnot, right? So uh, they're high resolution, 8K maps, clean UVs, clean meshes, ready to go in 3ds Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, SketchUp, Unreal Engine 4, Unity, Blender, and Rhino. Now, if you guys use the link below, you'll not only help out my channel at no extra cost to you, but you'll also get free models, totally free models that are posed, rigged, and animated. There you go. I'm just going to check that level piece again. Okay, there you have it. Now this guy is going to be smooth and actually I'm thinking about doing that right now. We can do that. So we're going to go up here to mesh and smooth. That looks fine. And then what we need to do next is put a little bit of decoration in here. Now typically you will have a kind of an emblem or something like that. So I'm going to take a uh, polygon torus, hit W, move that up. The scale it up so we can see what's going on. Hit E to rotate, hold down J, flip it down like so. And I'm not quite sure what type of decoration we want to put in here. But for now, I'm just going to go in and let's set this to, um, I would say 8x8. Eight eight because we are going to smooth this guy out. Jump to the top, right click at a face. Get rid of half, like this. Alright, then we're going to go in here and we're going to take this guy, hit W, move that out, move that down, make sure that's a good fit from this point of view. So scale that down to about here I would say and then move that up a little bit. And if we want to snap that to the middle just to hold down uh, V to do that, uh, sorry, V, yeah, I think I was holding down X. But we're good. I have to frame that in and we're going to push that in. As you can see, we have to push it quite a bit to get it in there. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go in. We're going to go to the form. We're going to go to nonlinear. And actually, before we do that, let's change the size a little bit. So let's see. I'm going to do that by going in here to... Um, I would say vertex. Now 
All right, and we're gonna hit R, and we're gonna. Oh, I missed one. Looks like something like this. Let's see how that looks. Kind of neat. Yep. Yeah. Then we're gonna take this guy. We're gonna go to deform and non-linear and a bend. We want our bend handle to be rotated, so hit E to rotate. Hold down J and flip it like so. And then we need to check the orientation as before. So we're gonna go to the bend handle. Well, let's see how it bends, and it bends exactly like we want. And now we need to make sure we have the right angle, or the right curvature, or you know, whatever that's called, right? So let's go in here and let's do, I would say, something like this, right? Okay, so we're gonna select that. We're gonna go to edit, delete by type and history. So we can go into the outliner, take our curve, and I think that just disappeared. Okay, even better. And we're gonna go in here. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna move that guy in, which should now be a bit of an easier fit. We're gonna go to, uh, let's see, uh, mesh and smooth on this guy, maybe even level two, which is fine. There you go. So we've got one right there. Um, you can decide to put one all four sections if you like. Um, so let's do that. We'll jump to the top. Go to modify and center pivot. Then we'll hit the insert key, hit W to move it. Hold down X and come on, hit the insert key. Yeah, there you go. Hold down X and we're gonna snap that to the center and hit the insert key again. Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold down J. Flip it like so. Hit Shift D and Shift D. So we now have one on all four sides. Okay. Now we are gonna add some text here a bit later, uh, but for now we're gonna work on the top. Top is quite interesting because it's actually based on a square. So we're gonna take a cube. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna move our way up like so. Hit R until we basically cover that hole, right? And either I need to make that smaller or I need to make the hole in there smaller, but I think this will work. Yeah, that's gonna work. Okay, so we're gonna bring it down just a little bit, just until we cover that hole, there you go. And then we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here, take this face, delete it. And uh, let's see, we're gonna delete the bottom face as well. We don't need that either. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna go into insert edge loop option box and set this to seven subdivisions. Let's put them in here like so. And then we're gonna jump to this view and we're gonna hit after frame. And this is a bit tricky because we now kind of need to um, create a shape that Hang on, I'm talking and thinking, and I can't do that. So I need to do one or the other. We're gonna move this up a little bit, hang on, like so. There you go. Yeah, okay. So move this down. I want a little part of the base to be straight, and then I want it to come out, right? So let's do that first. Sorry to jump around like that, but you know, it is what it is, right? So we're gonna take, let's say, this guy. We're gonna go to Edit Mesh and uh, Bevel. We'll do 0 0.1, and then we're gonna go in, right-click Edge, uh, Face, sorry, right-click Face, click, Shift, double-click, Control-E to extrude, 0 .0 0.5 maybe even, yeah, 0 0.5 in thickness, there you go. And now we can go in and tweak this guy. So we have that, we're gonna go in here and it's supposed to look like kind of a dome shape with a uh, pointy top, if you will. And uh, for that, we're gonna take vertex and I'm gonna drag like this right here. And I'm gonna hit R and I'm gonna start to flare that out like this. And then I'm gonna go in here and then flare that out. 
even further. Flare that out even further. And then we're going to start to come back in. So we're going to take this, we're going to move that in like so. And then we'll take this and we'll move that in even way further than that. And we might need to adjust all of this. So I'm just going to drag select everything here. And then I'm going to skip a row every time I move. about right now that looks about right okay let's see I think that works uh, okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and I'm going to uh, right click and go to edge click and double click And one more. And we're going to go to Edit Mesh and uh, Bevel. And let's go in here and we're going to right click go to Face. And we're going to do a couple of things here. And I think what I'll do instead is I'll select these guys. Right? And skip the faces between those lines. All right. Control E to extrude. Keep face together off and then tweak the offset to get something like this, right? And then hit a G to repeat. And then we're gonna tweak the thickness. All right. So it's something like that. Now I might need to detach the bottom there and I'll show you why because if I hit three to smooth this guy, you'll see that the base will be rounded as well. And uh, I'm not even sure if I want to smooth it because it's not what I want. So I think this is better. So I'm gonna leave it like this. We do need to cap this though. For that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a uh, another cube, hit W, we're gonna pull that up we're going to hit R to scale that out. Let's go in and take those faces again. One and two, like that. We're going to take this guy, we're going to hit R to scale it way, way, way down, like so. Right click, go to vertex, drag select, W to move down, F to frame. And I basically want that box to end, right? So I'm going to go in here and let's raise that a little bit. It's actually quite long. So we'll go in here, we'll take the edge. We'll move that down to about here. There we go. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control E to extrude. We're going to hit R to push that in. And G to repeat, and W to push up. And G to repeat, R to scale in. G to repeat again, W to push up and R to scale in. And we just want kind of a, a point up there, right? So G to repeat again, W to push straight up. Come on, straight up. And then we're gonna hit R and we're gonna push that way, way in after frame. Then we're gonna go to mesh and fill hole. No end guns, so we're good. And then we're gonna go in here. All right, and we're gonna go into Injured Edge Loop, Option Box, Single. And we'll put one in here, one there, one there. And you'll understand in a second why. And then one here, one here, and one here. Q on the keyboard. Then we're gonna double click on this guy and shift to double click on this guy. And we're gonna hit R and we're gonna pull these out like so, and then pull them in like that, all right? Okay, 
So, uh, last thing I want to do is the text that I mentioned, um, and I really don't know what type of text to create, so we're just going to do something, we're going to call it uh, news, and I just went up to create and then type, and then instead of 3D type, we're going to go and call this news, All right? Okay, uh, let's see, I'm going to hit 4 for wireframe mode, so we can see where it's at, it's in here. There you go. We're going to go to object mode. Let's hit W, move that out here. Five for shaded mode. Okay, so we want that up there somewhere. Let's move it up. Let's move it in. Let's get it into proportion and scale and whatnot. So let's hit R and hit W, move that up. And I'm going to go to modify and center pivot. So I can now hold down X and snap it to the middle like so. And then I have a better idea of where I can put it, right? Okay. So now that I have that, I need to kind of figure out where I want this placed. Now it's going to be somewhere in between these two guys, right? So let me just think about that. We're going to hit W. I'm going to move this here. We're going to hit E to rotate, and that would be at uh, 45 degrees. Compared to the corner of this square right here, so I'm going to select this guy, hit W, and I'm basically going to move it right there. So hit F to frame that, and I want the red line of my uh, gizmo to be in that line and a blue line on that one, right? Okay, let's see how far off we are from our actual column here. It's not too bad. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into deform, nonlinear, and a bend. We're gonna have to move that bend deformer again. Hit E to rotate, hold down J. And as you can see, the orientation is off, so be careful. Double click on this guy. We're going to go up and change world to object, right? We're going to minimize that. Um, then we're going to uh, rotate the bend handle as before. Go in and now it's bending in the wrong direction as you can see. So we have to move it a little bit more. Hold down J and flip it down. That should be right. Let's see. Okay. So now we need to bend that inwards as before. And let's see if we can kind of meet that curve and that looks pretty good. All right. So we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna select this guy. I'm gonna go to edit, delete by type in history. And it looks like it has a different material on it. So I'm gonna assign new material. Let's do a, a default Lambert. And there you go, right. So we need to bring that in a little bit. So I'm gonna hit W, and again, we're in the wrong orientation. So I'm gonna double click on this guy. World is gonna become object. So I can now go in and push this guy in like so. And now that we have that on one location, I want it on all four. So I'm gonna jump to the top. I'm going to select my text. And uh, where do you go? I think it's, uh, let me just get it from here. There you go, yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the insert key. I'm going to hit W to move it. And I'm going to hold on X. Come on. I'm going to hold on X and I'm going to snap it to the center right there, right? Then I'm going to hit the insert key again. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate this. Hit E to rotate. Hold down J. And I'm going to flip around 45 degrees like so. And then I'm going to hit Shift D and Shift D. So we now have that text news on all four corners in between the circles there, right? Okay. 
that's basically all there's to it guys so like I said this is uh, not a low poly model it's intended as a concept piece that you can use to bake on a low poly model uh, but hopefully that inspired you to come up with something right so that's it for this tutorial if you haven't subscribed just yet make sure you do thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time bye Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.